Hi, this is Auto House Hamilton TV. I'm James and today I'm talking gear shifting. Specifically, I'll be talking about the bushes that control the shift mechanism in Porsche 911 and 930 models up to 1986. So that covers the 901 transmission, the 915 and the 930 transmission. All these cars use the same bushes to control their shift mechanism. And when those bushes get, get tired or, or worn away to nothing, shifting becomes difficult, it's, it's imprecise, it's sloppy. And at that point, very often, owners of these cars decide what they need is some Yahoo go faster and often very expensive aftermarket uh, shifter setup, when really what they, what they may need to do is just get the standard system back to, to factory specifications, get things as good as they were designed to be. So that instead of going from uh, a factory design system that's worn out and sloppy, um, and going from that to um, an aftermarket setup, rather take that factory system and get it as good as it, can, as it possibly can be. So there are three areas where these bushes are installed, um, where in each of them introduces slop and imprecision and I'll now show you those, those various bushes and I'll do my best not to look like I'm advertising some gynecological procedure. First of them is the ball socket bush. This is a bush that uh, supports the, the gear stick itself. So the, the gear stick has a, a ball on its end and that fits into, into this bush and that locates the, the gear shifter. So when you're moving your, your gear stick um, back, forward, left and right, this is the, the bush that, that, you're, that you're feeling. From there, your shift motions are carried by a shift rod, and that shift rod goes through a support bush. So now we're talking uh, movement uh, along the, the length of the car, and that goes through this tunnel rod support bush. The shifter rod is located within this, and again, where in this bush introduces slop and imprecision into the shifting mechanism. Those shift instructions that you're given go through a shifter coupling. The shifter coupling looks like this. Now this is an aftermarket shifter coupling. It's uh, machined out of aluminium and it has uh, bushes that are supposed to be better than the, than the standard bushes, which may or may not be true. Uh, the important thing is you're replacing a um, shifter coupling with, with tired bushes, with new bushes, and suddenly everything feels much more precise and much more controlled. Now you might want to use a new shifter coupling as an easier alternative than replacing the individual bushings, which can also be done. And we usually carry in stock these, uh, these aftermarket bushes in a, in a nolithane or a, or a polyurethane, which is a little bit firmer than the, than the standard bushes. So once those three areas have been addressed, your car's shifting should feel a whole lot crisper and more precise than it did before you got stuck in. As ever, Thank you very much for watching.